So uh, now if we have come to the first setup, this is the main 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 temple, the Satam Satorium, what they call, and this is where the uh, the meditation and all the other activities of the ashram happens happens here. So here we have a one set of PV panels. This is a 4.8 kilowatt AC coupled hybrid PV system to be called technically. So we have got uh, four plus four eight panels. These are connected to the micro inverters. What we what I'm showing you is a micro inverter. This is currently the latest series of uh, uh, IQ eight P micro inverters available in India now. So I have explained about micro inverters and I have spoken about the advantages of the micro inverters. There is a video. The, the link is given in the description. I'm going to briefly tell once more. So essentially, these are like eight panels. So eight panels have eight inverters. So there are eight independent discrete system. Each panel is independent of the other other system. That's the advantage of the micro inverter configuration, and it's very very safe system. It's a there's hardly any DC wiring. So it's all AC configuration that makes the system very very safe. And say after a few years, if there's a problem with one of the panels, it breaks for some reason. We can just put any other panel available in the market, and there's no compromise on the entire efficiency of the system. So this is a micro inverter configuration. So we have used uh, micro inverter IQ8P. So as I told you, there is this, uh, actually a battery-based system. I'll show you the battery when we go to the battery station. So technically, this is called a AC coupling. I'm going to talk about AC and DC coupling just in a while when we go to the battery. So essentially, what happens is you can see here. These are the micro inverters. These are the Micros, the same same inverters have been fixed here. So the DC of the solar panels, the power produced, which is the DC power, is converted to the AC uh, AC power or AC energy in this inverter, and this goes to the generation side meter because most uh, utility companies actually want to measure the solar generation. So we have a generation meter. From the generation meter, this comes to the battery station to charge the battery. So I will talk about the battery when we actually go down. So, uh, just a small little detail about the inverters. So, these are uh, micro inverters. So, there are eight systems. So, the current characteristics of the of the inverters permit us to connect eight in one. Sorry, the seven uh, inverters in one string. So, we have got a, a a kind of a terminal block or a termination there. We have we have got each of these strings. So, we have made. This four into one string, this four into another string. So there are two MCBs, and there's one more main MCB. So there's a breaker there as well. And you saw there's actually a walkway here. Walkway is very important in any rooftop PV systems because maintenance of the system is very very important. So in generally in all our projects, we actually give a walkway so that it's easy to walk and clean the panels and it's easy to inspect. So this is about the on grid, sorry, the hybrid system. It's actually called a uh, AC coupled uh, hybrid PV system. You can see we have also painted the surface white so that the building remains cool during summers, and also there is the reflectance, rather the reflected light also adds to some amount of generation since this is a glass to glass or sometimes called a bifacial uh, solar PV system. So of course this is a, a Topcon solar PV panel. This is the currently the the currently the the latest technology when it comes to solar pv panels so we have used uh, 600 watts topcon mono per twin peak uh, uh, solar panels this is currently the latest technology when it comes to solar uh, solar uh, panels and these are the end type so if you have like a couple of years back or even one year one year one and a half years back we're only talking about the p type panels so these are the end type panels they're slightly more efficient than the earlier p type panels so this is the rooftop layout Eight panels, eight inverters, elevated structure with walkway with a terminal block comprising of three MCBs. Now we will go down and uh, talk about the batteries and the storage and the other uh, electrical uh, electrical parameters associated with this. Uh, but this this building right behind behind there is one more PV setup. That's the student home. So after this, we'll go to that block and look at that student block PV system also in detail. So now let's go down and look at the battery system that we have installed here. Okay.
so now we have come down this is the battery station so how the system here works is the solar pv uh, energy or the power which is generated from the rooftop first goes to a generation side meter where they record the solar output many of the power utility companies uh, mandate that the power generation must be recorded from there the pv power comes into our control this is called the iq controller through the protection and the protection system consists of uh, an elcb mcb spd and 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 a relay and the pv system is is coming into the iq controller so how the topology how the configuration works is during the day the loads are serviced by the solar pv power okay and if there is an excess power generated it first charges the battery and if there is a further excess power available it is exported back to the power utility company through net metering if we have deficit of power they can always draw it from the power utility company provided it is available if the if the utility company does not give you power or there is a power cut okay during the day the solar pv directly services the loads without drawing anything from the battery and during the night if there is a power cut we can draw power from our uh, battery so this is a very futuristic battery system and this entire system actually is called ac coupling essentially when we talk about energy storage when it comes to solar pv system there are two kinds of topologies or configurations one is an ac coupled system other is a dc coupled system now what are these ac and the dc coupled system is it is essentially how the pv system or the pv energy is interfaced with the battery in a ac coupled system there are triple conversions in a dc coupled system it's a single conversion i will just speak to you about the ac and dc coupled system in a while but essentially this is the topology or this is the battery station so let me open up these three uh, boxes and explain each of them in detail and also talk about the ac and the dc coupling so let me go in detail about the uh, the power flow here so the pv power system pv the output of the solar uh, panels or the output from the micro inverters on the top first goes to a generation meter where we have a surge protection device and an elcb and an mcb it again comes into this box the first set of protections we have an elcb and a 275 volts uh, spd here so this pv system gets into the controller this is the i would say the brain of the entire pv system okay so th this takes in the pv power and this is also connected to the grid so we have a grid input as well so grid input also has a type 1 plus 2 spd plus an mcb and the power output from here also goes through an spd and a mcb so these are the external protections over and above the internal protections which are already given here so i always insist on an external protection so that if the customer wants to isolate anything it is accessible for him or her so this is the brain of the system so this takes in power from the pv system from the grid and it can also take the three phase power at 63 amps if required if one is one wants to monitor it can take both single phase and three phase input and give a single phase output for the backup loads and this is our uh, battery system so the battery is also connected here so again this is called an ac battery or an ac coupled battery i will just come to that ac kind of uh, configuration so the battery system here so this is the dc side of the battery as i told you this is an ac coupled system ac coupled system has actually two sets of inverters one is what we call as a pv inverters which we saw on the top and there is another set of inverters called the battery inverters so how does this system how does the power flow happen the ac output from the pv panel is again converted to dc to charge our battery and the battery output the dc is converted to ac to service the loads so there is a conversion here there are is ac to dc and dc to ac conversion which happens here so this in my opinion is a very very futuristic kind of a configuration when it comes to the pv power systems 
So uh, why do I say that? See, now this is a lithium ferrophosphate battery. This is actually has almost geothermal runaway. That is, it's very, very uh, safe in terms of the thermal parameters. It is non, non toxic, non combustible, very, very safe kind of a, a energy storage system. This does not involve any cobalt or nickel or those kind of materials which are which are which are considered to be not so environment friendly. So that is about the battery, and this is actually a battery which can store five kilowatt hours or five units of energy. So we can we can actually connect multiple of these batteries to the same uh, controller. In this site, we have, have only one battery. In the next site, I will show you how we have connected multiple batteries to the same controller, and the one of the advantages in this kind of a topology, what we call an AC coupling, is this another set of inverters. It's actually the same inverters, the same IQ8P inverter. There are six of them which are mounted here. So now even these inverters now contribute for the energy output. So in the, during the daytime, we have got the output from the PV power uh, system, which is giving roughly about 8.8 eight micro inverters into each of 480 watts and even these six inverters contribute to the power output so during the daytime when there is enough sunlight available our output from this entire system is the sum total of the output from the pv system plus the battery system so this is a 3.84 kilowatt battery at five units so in an AC coupled system, we have the output from the battery inverter as well. So the daytime backup loads can be the total of the PV system. We can actually con uh, connect, I think, about 15 micros to the L1 plus 6 micros, which, is, which are integrated into the battery. So battery always contributes about 3.84 kilowatt of power if required. So that's an AC coupled kind of a configuration. Now I will open up this front deck further and uh, and give you a brief about the wiring and the other kind of input and output uh, system coming from here. So one before I open it, one uh, one additional feature here is a cellular modem. So this actually will require data or the internet to monitor the system. So in case the the internet of the of the premises fail. We also have a cellular modem. So this can give us five years of data. It is integrated into the controller. I'll open up the front deck and give you a brief about the wiring inside. So now we have come to the IQ controller. This is actually, as I told you, this forms the brain of the system. So this has some uh, protections. Basically, there are, we have, there's one delay. We have given an additional delay. This is a single phase system, but this controller can actually take three phase input from both from the PV side and from the grid side and give a single phase output for the backup loads. This is our gateway. This helps in monitoring the system. We can monitor the production. We can monitor the consumption. We can also monitor the grid parameters if required and any kind of remote troubleshooting or firmware update can be done with this uh, gateway. Of course, there is other than the protections given here. There is a battery MCB, there is a MCB for the PV side as well. There are two relays, as I told you. This can take the grid input, it can take the PV input, and can also uh, give the backup power to our backed up loads. So, in this ashram, we have actually connected certain single phase load as the backup. You have connected two refrigerators, all lights, all the fans the computer and the TV. We have left out the air conditioner and the geyser. So all the rest are actually connected to the PV system. So the advantage or the or the benefit to the consumer is this almost zero electricity bill because it's under net metering, any excess energy can go back into the grid and all the critical appliances are powered all the time with the help of our battery system. So there is an uninterrupted good quality power 24 bar 7. So this is our IQ controller and the and the battery. So this controller can be connected to 63 amps of uh, grid input and can also be connected to four batteries like this. In this side, we have got only one battery. 
we can connect three more if required. In the next slide, we will show you the four battery kind of a configuration. So this is the AC coupled system in the in the ashram. In the next block in the same ashram, we are talking about the DC coupled system where the uh, DC of the PV is directly connected to the DC of the battery. So this is about the AC coupled system here. So thank you very much.